best way to deal with lint on a photo shoot is with a lint brush, a lint roller. I got this from Ikea. You can get uh, refills, packs. It's really inexpensive. This is what I call pre-touching. So you just, you know, obviously you know how to use a lint roller. Do this before a shoot. But the problem is some people will do it, some people won't. Some people will do it and then they'll wait around. Dust is in the air and uh, lands on their clothes. Maybe some people have dandruff. They scratch their head and they get dandruff on their shoulder. Maybe some people have dogs. And no matter what you do, there's dog hair on everything. Everything. Speaking from experience there. Anyways, I'm gonna show you the fastest way to get rid of lint in Photoshop. It's really quick, it's really simple. I have an action set up. I just hit a keyboard shortcut, sets the brush, and then I just go over and brush over, and uh, you'll see, you'll see it in action. I'm gonna get going here quickly. So I have this image. Uh, this is a shoot that I'm in the process of uh, processing. I've got to get this out to the client tomorrow, but you can see here as we come in on her skirt, there is a lot of lint. We've got white specks here, we have white specks here, we have some hair here, some white specks, white specks, white specks, a lot of white specks. So what we're going to do is very simple. The first thing I'm going to do, because I want to do this in a non-destructive way, is I'm going to duplicate the layer, then right click on the layer, convert it to a smart object. Now that it's converted to a smart object, I'll go up to filter and then I'm going to go to noise, dust, and scratches. I'm going to set the radius to three and the threshold to 50. And you can see already that most of that dust is gone. What you don't want to do is you don't want to kill the texture of the dress. So now that we have that, we are just going to alt click to create a um, layer mask on that layer. And because our layer mask is black, we're just going to paint white. I want to make sure my flow is at 100, my opacity is at 100. And I'm just going to quickly come in and I can brush over these areas very quickly, loosely. Because this is white on black, it works very well. So I can just come in here. That hair will need to be dealt with a little later. As far as the lint goes, this is very, very simple solution. If you want to refine how this is affecting the layers, we can come over to our layers here. If we double click on the layer, that will bring up our layer options and we can hold Alt and drag this out so that we're feathering out the uh, affected area. So when we're dragging out the, the dark areas, what we're doing is we're saying, we don't want what we're doing to this image to affect the dark areas. We only want it to affect the, the white areas. So I'll just hit okay with that and that's it. The lint is gone. Very simple, very quick. If you found this helpful, uh, please hit like. Also, please consider subscribing to this channel. Thanks for watching. Take care.